hearing loss that occurs gradually as person age. It is called presbycusis. Most cases of hearing loss is due to older age. Almost half the people in their 65s have some degree hearing loss. There are three main types of hearing loss. 1. Conductive, involves outer or middle ear. 2. Sensory neural, involves inner ear. And 3. Mixed, combination of the two. Aging and chronic exposure to loud noises are main contributor of hearing loss. Aging and exposure to loud noise cause wear and tear nerve cells which are responsible on. Send sound signals to the brain. When these hairs or nerve cells are damaged or missing, electrical signals aren't transmitted as efficiently, and hearing loss occurs. At this case, higher pitched tones becomes muffled and it may become difficult to differentiate words against background noise. Age-related hearing loss also associated with accumulated effect of noise and ototoxic drugs. Age-related hearing loss, presbycusis, is usually bilateral and symmetric and is most pronounced at higher frequencies, greater than or equal to 2000 Hz. Other factors can also cause hearing loss like, excessive earwax, infections, ototoxic medications, and tinnitus. Gradual buildup of earwax. Earwax can block the ear canal and prevent conduction of sound waves. Earwax removal can help restore hearing. Ear infection and abnormal mass growths for example cancer in the outer or middle ear, can also cause hearing loss. Another cause is ruptured eardrum, tympanic membrane perforation. Loud blasts of noise, sudden changes in pressure, poking your eardrum with an object and infection can cause your eardrum to rupture and affect your hearing. Risk factors for hearing loss. Factors that may damage or lead to loss of the hairs and nerve cells in your inner ear include. Aging. Degeneration of inner ear structures occurs over time. Loud noise, genetics, occupational noises. Jobs where loud noise is a regular part of the working environment, such as farming, construction, or factory work, loud music can lead to damage inside your ear. Some medications. Drugs such as the antibiotic gentamicin, sildenafil, Viagra, and certain chemotherapy drugs, can damage the inner ear. Temporary effects on your hearing ringing in the ear, tinnitus, or hearing loss, can occur if you take very high doses of aspirin, other pain relievers, antimalarial drugs, or loop diuretics. Some illnesses. Diseases or illnesses that result in high fever, such as meningitis, may damage the cochlea. How to cope with hearing loss. Let people know you have a hearing problem. Ask people to face you and to speak more slowly and clearly. Also, ask them to speak louder without shouting. Pay attention to what is being said and to facial expressions or gestures. Let the person talking know if you do not understand what he or she said. Despite increasing knowledge of the biology of the inner ear, Hearing restoration is not currently available for most cases of hearing loss. Treatment. Most cases of hearing loss is not reversible. A hearing aid can some help. The goal of treatment with well-fitted hearing aids is to improve the audibility of even soft speech or music and other sounds while ensuring that sounds do not become uncomfortably loud. Hearing aids can be sophisticated instruments with a variety of customizable features that contribute to their high costs whether performance improves with higher cost devices is uncertain. In some cases with severe or total sensory neural hearing loss do not typically benefit from hearing aids, since inner ear hair cells are not able to stimulate the auditory nerve in response to sound. In such cases, cochlear implants are effective, which are surgically implanted devices that bypass the cochlear hair cells to electrically stimulate the auditory nerve, permit partial restoration of hearing and have been shown to improve speech perception and vocational, social, and psychological functioning, as well as the quality of life for adults, including older adults.